So PSA has finally announced a transparency program for their grading standards, but there's a problem with it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. So a little bit of cool news that I noticed yesterday is that PSA announced something for their card grading that honestly they should have been doing a long time ago. Beckett does this, CGC does this, many, many other companies do this, and that's grading transparency or what they're calling greater notes for, you know, greater notes or greater notes for greater clarity as as kind of their ad slogan is basically what it is is when you go in to look at the grade on your card in their database you can go down to the bottom and you can see why the card got the grade that it got did it have fraying on a bottom right corner did it have some discoloration or their scratches whatever it was you can actually see some greater notes which this is great this is great that PSA is offering this and I think this is a wonderful thing. There's just one huge problem. There's one massive glaring problem with this. It's only available on express grade and higher. Now, if you don't grade a lot, you might not know what that is. So basically with grading, there's there's tiers, right? You can grade at the bulk level, which means you're grading a whole bunch of cards at once for really cheap per card, maybe 10 to $15 per card. And then there's, there's tiers above that. There's like a tier that's maybe $20, $40, $50, $75. And then you have the tier that's express, which is $129 per card. And that is where it starts where you get the greater notes. So we see right here, it says by popular demand, duh, like so many other companies have been doing this. Again, it's great that PSA is doing this. There's just some issues with it. Uh, cards have a greater notes have arrived at PSA, a new feature that brings clarity to grades revealed by detailing the card defects detected during the grading and authentication. This is launching on June 25th, which actually was my birthday, which is kind of cool, at service levels starting with Express. Again, that's the service level that's $129 per card. Greater notes are included at no additional cost, which makes me think they're probably gonna have greater notes at an additional cost for other tiers, potentially. And so basically what they're doing is it says, it shows all the flaws that could come on your card. Uh, examples, you can see corners bend on top left, edges fraying center right, surface discoloration front to top, centering back to top to bottom, which is great. I, that's wonderful. It's not like a system where you're getting subgrades that's showing you, hey, your corners got a nine, your edges got a 9.5, your centering got a 10, yada, yada, yada. It's not something like that. It's just giving you some notes that's saying, hey, in this location, here's the issue. So you could take your little magnifying glass or whatever, or your bright light and look at your card and be like, okay, where is the issue with this and why? Okay, there, yep, I see it. I'm glad they pointed it out. That's actually great. The problem, the problem is, is that it's only with Express. I don't know why they made that decision. You can see right here, Express is $129 per card. And what most people with, with a declared value of $2,500 or less, so what most people are submitting their cards, you know, you're submitting something that's maybe worth a couple hundred bucks, usually submitting around the bulk level or a level that's much lower than the $129 per card level. So here's what it kind of looks like is you get this right here. So they did a great video and we're gonna have clips throughout this video, but basically it's gonna, you know, be able to scroll down and see what the notes are. There's gonna be a whole bunch of different things that you can see and a whole bunch of different ways that, you know, it'll describe it that I think is honest to goodness, it's really, really good. I, I really like it a lot. So you can see that you might get fraying center right, discoloration center front, back top to bottom, a whole bunch of different things that you can get that actually is gonna show you what is the issue. And I love that. And I wanna, I wanna give you some more of my thoughts here in just a second. Guys, let me know what you think. Drop me a comment down below. What do you think about the greater notes? What do you think about the fact that you can only get them from PSA on cards that are graded at the $130 level or above? And the thing that I find just a little funny is they end the video <laughs> like this. Trading card flaws in all their forms noted for your enlightenment. Unless the card is a PSA 10, in which case the only note you want is already on the label. Now, nobody's ever seen a PSA 10 that had any issues on it, right? It's never happened. So basically they're saying there's not gonna be any notes if your card gets a PSA 10. So they better be increasing the standards of their grading if there's not gonna be any notes if your card gets a 10, because there are a bunch of PSA 10s out there that are off center, that have frayed edges, that have whitening, 
And so what are you gonna do if you get a new one and there's no notes, but you have damages on it? So a hopeful part of this, this situation and this rollout is that they are actually being more strict and more um, accountable for the grades and the cards that they're giving tens because we all know that PSA is notorious for a hey, crack your nine from another company and send it to PSA for the best possible 10 which isn't really a good thing if you're wanting like actual perfect cards it's a good thing if you're just wanting to make the most money possible but it's not really a good thing if you're just wanting you know actual true gem mint 10 cards because there's a lot of PSA 10s that aren't out there so you won't be getting greater notes unless it's a PSA 10 because the only note that you need is the note that says it's a PSA 10, right? Because that's what we're buying. We're buying the, the PSA 10, not the actual card. So let's break this down in a few ways, okay? First and foremost, there's a lot of people out there that don't even grade. This is going to be for Pokemon. This is going to be for sports. This is going to be for all cards that everybody grades, right? So that's out there. But there's a lot of people that don't grade cards, and that's fine. And there's a lot of people that only grade with PSA, and that's that's fine as well. You're, you're allowed to grade with whomever you want and however you want, and there's no denying that PSA graded cards are the cards that sell the fast because they're geniuses at marketing, and people just believe that PSA is the standard, and they are absolutely the most popular. My issue with this is, on the front, this is a wonderful thing. Actually adding notes for the guards that are getting graded so you can say why did my card get an eight and you can log in and see oh okay that's why it got an eight okay now i understand that's a wonderful thing the thing that's a slap in the face is that's only at the express tier or above only at the 130 dollars tier i think it might be a hundred dollars if you have like a special membership only at the 130 dollars tier or above can you get these notes the vast majority of cards are not being graded at that tier so what does that mean? Does that mean that you just don't deserve to have greater notes on your cards if you're grading at a lower tier? Or are you grading these cards at different standards because somebody's hitting that express tier? Are you are you grading it at a different standard than, than the lower tier cards? You shouldn't be. You should be doing the exact same work on a card that's graded for $20 as a, that takes three months to actually process as a card that's graded for $130 that processes within a few days. The work should be the same. The standards should be the same. Everything should be the same. The notation should be the same. There should be no reason why this can't be included across the board for PSA. Furthermore, when somebody buys a card, they have no idea if it was graded in a bulk submission or an economy submission or an express submission. What if I wanna go and see, okay, well, why is this a PSA 10 or a PSA 9 on a card that I'm buying? Oh, it, it was graded in an economy submission, so I'm not allowed to see that. That's another flaw in it. So that's the biggest glaring issue that I have is, why do the lower tiered gradings not deserve to have these notes on them and are, it makes one wonder put the hey put the put the tin foil hat on right are they grading the cheaper submissions more leniently are they paying less attention to the cheaper submissions when you get to a certain price point for your submission do they have some weird you know unspoken internal rule that like hey 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 once once we once something is submitted at the express level we're actually going to pay good attention to it we're actually going to really pay attention and give it a real accurate grade i i'm, I'm not saying that's the case i'm just saying like it, that's what it that's what this makes you think right this makes you think that they are not treating the lower end the cheaper grading levels the same as the higher end because if it was all the exact same across the board then why not just put the greater notes on every single card that's graded by psa it's not doing, it's it's literally that much extra effort for whoever's building out that report for the card to, doo -doo -doo -doo, that's why. Because the graders are, should be taking those notes, right? Unless they're not. It's weird, right? It's weird. I, I'm not the only one tripping here, right? It, it's got to be weird. So I think it's a great thing. Hopefully they bring it to their entire lineup of every grading. I think that would make that would really do a ton to increase PSA's credibility in my book, in my eyes, uh, and, and increase PSA's, you know, trustworthiness uh, in the community. It's having those graded notes on every single one of their cards, but they would have to be consistent across the board with how they're grading everything. So hopefully they roll that out for all graded cards in the future. I think that would be wonderful, but I want to know what you guys think. Drop me a comment down below. This did already start into effect, like I said, on June 25th, which was just a couple days ago. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, you know, let, let's discuss in the comments. I'll reply to as many as I can in the first few hours. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It's free. 
It's a great way to support the channel. You can hit that subscription button and those notification bells. And if you like this one, YouTube says you like that one, go watch it. And like I always say, find somebody to love and serve today. Be the change you want to see in the world. See you next time.